What happens when you lose a whole episode? <laughs> you get a speed round. All right. So uh, this is Torque on the Mood, San Diego 2021 at home edition. Co-host Travis, Bobby, yep. let's get this do- started. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. All right. So uh, Comic Con is coming on yet again. Uh, we're at home this still. Hopefully yeah. next year. Hopefully next year we'll be in San Diego on the floor you know, death matches to get your the, the, the coolest toy that's coming out that will be a peg warmer in five years. But <laughs> who cares because it's fun when you have it in your hand. You're like, yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, um, Travis, what's up, buddy? What's up, dude? So, yeah, it's a good thing we're close friends and we don't hate each other because we just hung out for 40 minutes and didn't record it for this audience. And it was a delightful conversation. It was a good episode. <laughs> it was the best episode ever. Uh, but hopefully it. that will never happen again. Uh, but look, check this out. Just want to let you guys know we're doing another show for MezcoCon because there's just so much. They had three to four reveals every day, and we'll probably uh, mention that later on in the show. Yes. But just kind of firing it up, man. We'll get right into it. Uh, quickly, what is your favorite Comic-Con exclusive of all time? You should know because we just talked about yeah, it. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite of all time is the 2017 uh, Ninja Turtles NECA. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the case and everything. I still have at least five of the figures from it. Dope. Yours is? It's this one. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, got it around maybe just before that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That is still it's, badass. It's worth a lot, but they've re kind of repackaged these things. So, maybe not as much, but it still holds dear to my heart. It's back when, you know, I collected only really Comic-Con exclusive stuff and didn't really collect everything like behind you, were, you me, weren't right? hunting you weren't hunting i wasn't hunting i didn't i went there was a toys r us i kind of was like oh what that looks cool like I, I knew nothing so that those were the days man you know that's as you know we'll kind of like breeze through what we got but you mentioned necker right so um i don't collect NECA, so i'll let you take over but yeah you said you kind of skipped all this stuff i did um we got and and Preface this, NECA once again puts out amazing looking figures. We got the Ninja yeah. Turtle Cartoon Channel 6 Newsroom 4 pack, mm-hmm. the mouthful, and the accessory set bundle. We got a Flash Gordon and Ming the Merciless 2 pack, and the and they revealed their unmasked Casey Jones based off the 89 movie. Uh honestly, I won't lie. Uh the Flash Gordon and Ming line, it's cool, but it's not my bag. It's yeah, not. and this is like the retro movie two pack. Yeah, thing. yeah. Um, now I have met Sammy Jones, and he's a cool dude. So I mean, maybe if I go to a con, if I get Flash Gordon and have him sign it, I don't know. Yeah, see, that's the thing with cons. It's like you get in a package deal. So like, you know, I, I gotta feel bad for some of these retailers because other than the ones that have like the exclusives that you need now. It's it's hard because a lot of people want to see this. You want to get it in hand. In they hand. Want it, they want it to feel like they got a worked for. It. It's part of an event, that kind of thing. But hey, the good thing is we didn't have to deal with. We had to deal with somewhat of bots, but we don't have to deal with the lottery or the line before the line before the line before the line, and you know that kind exactly. of crazy. So in a way, it's kind of or or they do like those uh Easter egg hunts and all that shit. So oh, we don't have to deal with that. We just go to a website and hit F five as fast as we can and hope <laughs> and say that our credit card is not declined. You know what? I won't lie. You actually made a wonderful point, though. It is going to the con and finding it in hand. Like oh, yeah. I found like I won't lie. Like I like uh, Conpluza. I found Snake Eyes in hand. I was like oh, oh. Cool. I was like cool. I'm like. And this also might be setting up the fact that we're doing a G.I. Joe episode for the movie. Okay. Yeah. Snake Eyes, I'll be on it. Uh, we're, yes, I think we're recording that tomorrow, I think. We don't, we'll see. So, uh, yeah. Well, like, I found it in hand. I was like, oh, shit. Mine now. <laughs> I paid for it and just steal it. But, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, uh, I, I, have, I passed on NECA this year. I do love NECA. I do love the Ninja Turtles. Uh, yep. But is, uh, for $200... I'm either gonna get the turtles, but I'm not gonna or or like the, the above ground whatever. Uh, I'm not getting the channel six newsroom. I'm just not. Yeah, no. There's there's people. There's an audience for that though. Uh, Mattel had some hot stuff. Stuff that went really fast. Stuff that you wanted. <laughs> stuff I couldn't add two to a cart because I was afraid that it'd be gone and it 
from what I gather, that stuff really went in a minute. And it was the, you know, the much maligned uh, Masters of the Universe revelation. Scare Glow. Uh, Tony Todd killed it as a character. I'll let you yeah. guys talk more about the the show and then do the show review stuff. But yeah. I am happy I got this despite passing on the first wave. And then I didn't pass on the first wave because they got re they kind of got released on a big bad uh you know a, a big box retailer if you will yep. so we'll go over that in a bit but uh there was a scare glow which looks tremendous and then awesome. Sergeant Slaughter you know I'm a Joe simp yep. I got the other Slaughter behind me I don't know if you can see him hanging out with Snake Eyes but um just to get to the facts it's a six and a half they say six inch scale but WWE Elite and this is uh they run a little a little bigger than your average six inch so a lot of people actually were gonna pass on it it's still sold out in a minute it's the this was an intentional gi joe a real american hero you know he yeah. wore this to the ring sure a couple times or whatever but this was an intentional you know they're kind of jumping on the hotness they knew of the what they were doing line yeah yeah um they knew what they were doing uh, and then, and then, so I didn't, I didn't get that scare glow. I should have. Uh, and now I'm paying the price because I always forget Hot Wheels. Oh, because I'm a huge, I'm a huge, I love Hot Wheels. Uh, right. I am actually on Evil Bay. I'm on eBay <laughs> trying to get uh, the uh, Masters of the Universe Origins. They had a Wind, Wind Rider and a Land Shark with a little He Man and a little Skeletor. Uh, I'm trying to get the. It's the green Vader skeleton from Star Wars number one Marvel comic, uh, elongated into a car and it's chromed out, which really oh, that's neat. neat. Yeah. And then uh, the Batman uh, first turns of the Batmobile, which I mean, ah. here's the thing, uh, and we talked about this on the last episode or the one that we didn't record. Um, <laughs> Hot Wheels go, dude, uh, and even at even at Comic Con, the line for the Hot Wheels is always so freaking long i don't even try no kidding like the only reason i have the invisible jet is because dave's story was like hey do you want this I'm like uh yeah yeah i do yeah if you weren't if you weren't in this industry you know reviewing and doing shows of toys and you weren't a hot wheels collector you'd have no idea how crazy it is i the story i told was that I, you know, I used to do when I used to go wild hunting for action figures and the classified line was out and kind of trying to find the war for Cybertron Transformers. I go to a Walmart and get there like 15 minutes early to beat the scalpers. And it'd already be like three or four dudes who all knew each other. And, you know, the same demographic, their 40s and 50s, their papas and their uh, their speed running and they all knew each other running in Walmart. And I'm like, damn, there goes all the, you know, they're getting there before me. And no, they go, they go, boom right to that end cap hot wheels and they're scrambling in there and then and then yeah when they're done that then they get the carriage and just wipe out the whole walmart as you can see when you go to your walmart there's nothing in the toy section thanks to those hot wheels dudes but yeah man it's uh it, they're i'm just glad i'm not as a kid they're awesome yeah. uh but yeah i'm glad i'm not in that world man this is just god yeah, god speed god speed now from uh Someone that's done it properly to someone who just completely struck out. Target, what the hell? What yeah. the hell? Yeah, well, we could pass through this and just say it, it was a one hit, one day wonder. We had Cobra Island. It was a pure restock, and it helped out the homies who didn't. Uh, the boys we were able to. Our good mutual friend Lance. He yep. had a handful of figures jumping on the moody bandwagon, wanting to get in on some classified Joes. And uh, he was able to get all, you know, Baroness, Viper, and we picked him up a Major Blood this week. So, yeah, it's it's a little easier to get these things now thanks to this uh, summer geek out. But it was a summer strikeout for everything else, dude. Well, and, and the, my whole, the, the whole thing about Target was that, you know, it was, it was one day, like each day was something different. And we were, yeah. some, some of us got the McFarlane 90, uh, the S66 Batman figure. Some, you yeah, know, yeah. it was sold out. Um, but then they're like, oh, Sunday. You're like, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. Yeah, like, wait, we're going to get Alley Viper. We're going to get Dr. Mindbender. We're going to get, yeah. And we woke up. Like, I woke up at 8. Dude, I, I woke up at 8 Central Time. Look on, looked it up. And they're like, oh, it's just, 
It's just everything that they already released just in one <laughs> folder. Okay, cool. Like I'm. Going- and then, yeah, we mentioned that some of these pops aren't even on. They never even went on sale again. Yeah, no. So they, they were they were advertised all week, and then they said you know six a.m., which is nine a.m. Eastern time, nine yep. a.m. Pacific time. So some of us have been getting setting our alarms for five fifty five every day, and uh, man, I'm just glad that I was actually up to almost one in the morning, and they actually reveal what's there and i was like yep boop nothing so uh no reason to mess with target but walmart was hit and miss uh mostly hit i guess nothing too wild but uh, it seemed like most of us did pretty well this year because bobby a lot of the links weren't predetermined so we the people couldn't really get their bots ready and that and that's i think they need to start doing it where it's it's just you have to be able to find a way around the bots uh, I tried for the Mace Windu from the Jendi uh, Tartakovsky Star Wars Clone Wars miniseries. Yeah, micro series, yeah. Yeah, I tried for that. Uh, I tried twice, actually. I, I sent up an email alert and got the email alert, went to it, gone. But you didn't try when they first went on sale. Wait, oh, no, wait, hold on. I think only the ARC Trooper was available at 7 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Yeah. But then it took a half hour, I think, for the uh, for Mace Windu and Gr- in General Grievous to go. Yeah, up, right. And Grievous yeah, was. I can see how you missed it. When I went to try and get the Windu, Grievous was still available. I, I just I didn't I didn't want Grievous. I just, all I wanted was Windu. I I just wanted Mace Windu, and so did everyone else. So <laughs> you know, um, and I tried. I got the email alert. I'm like, oh, let me see if it's available, and and sold out again. Um, we have no idea what these things look like. I mean, they're probably none. just repaints of what we have, but we don't know. So, I mean, uh, I don't, I don't know. And then we got uh, Marvel Legends, as you can, you know, obviously because you know, K. Wish and I are huge Marvel Legends. Uh, I love that Hulk. Uh, damn it, He Man. Uh, the Compound Hulk. It's Green and Red Hulk together. Yeah, that's and- what everyone was saying this week. Damn it, He Man. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the compound uh, Hulk. It looks cool, but I, I, I haven't pre-ordered. But you know, it doesn't come until October, so I have time to decide if I really need it. Yeah. Or like, nah. Uh, now hey, you, I didn't have, you I didn't have, I didn't have time to cancel this because Walmart with the one-day shipping, man. I mean, one-day shipping. I actually got a Comic Con in hand at home. Unbelievable. And I know people were asking me, don't you already have a hiss? Yeah, but this is the hiss three. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hiss with, you know, Dr. Doom kind of manning it right there. But yeah, this is it, man. The Cobra colors. And uh, you got Rip It in there from the Devil's Due Publishing. So that's cool. You know, it's uh, kind of a new take on, you know, a Cobra tank driver. But oh, uh, like, it looks really cool. Camo tracks really pop with the blue, the nice blue midnight royal blue love it man and it in very few stickers like i mean maybe Which i like, like i don't like a lot of stickers because i inevitably yeah. mess it up oh i butchered a couple here and there but i was happy to see the, you know the and there it, that's the other the traditional one that's but cool. yeah i was real thrilled to get couldn't believe it. it was easy to get i think it was it's gone now but it was up for a good yeah for a good day at yeah least. it was up for a good so, day it was up for a while um and all the retro joes i think are still up there they they actually look good grunt and you'll see them on the screen we got stalker the cobra officer cobra trooper but um and i think they re-released the snake eyes on pulse or, Shocker. Or, so yeah but uh that one's gone but uh yeah i mean they look cool i'm not gonna collect the retros i just want the vehicles because how many vehicles are we gonna get like classified line like maybe one has lab or here and there but right uh, true so, yeah going true. with the easy easy schmeezy uh we were talked to revelation with Scareglow. uh i did pre-order Eva lynn because it's just tremendous people are using her face sculpt on other customizations with marvel yeah. legends and cobra you know but even the baroness and stuff just looking really cool she's a great character lena haiti crushed it build it great. Uh, unbelievable i'll let you guys dig into the you know the whole show of the masters of the universe but i also picked up moss man i'm on the fence he looks like a cool figure but i don't know where they're going with the character um did you try to get anything else from collector con no i didn't like i, I like it was one of those things where it's like i i knew what i wanted and right. uh like i wanted that mace windu and more than likely i'll have to pray i find it in the wild mm. 
And well, actually, there is something I didn't mention in the last show, but I do want to mention here because we got so many shows we're recording. We do plan, hopefully this week, to record a wrestling-only show. We don't know if it's going to be WWE Mattel. We might oh, have a guest. That's right. If not, we'll talk some AEW. Speaking of both, um, we'll go over all the wrestling goodies because there was a ton. Mattel crushed it. They have there's two panels. My buddy Bill McKenna, go check him out. He's a uh, uh, Ringside Collectibles has a panel with him as well, and uh, he's uh, one of the head designers of Mattel figures. And their figures are WWE figures are awesome. They're so much better than the product on TV. Uh, go get those toys. And I know Target. Speaking of them, they actually had Four Legends go out today. Big John Stud. Uh, I think Scott Hall. I tried Macho Man. It said sold out. I don't even think it went up. And then Big John. Uh, I said mentioned Big John Stud, right? I don't know. There's a oh, there's a couple. I, oh, we, Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow. That was the fourth one. Uh, the 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 wrestling movie lineup. Okay, yeah. So go ahead. Was, I mean, go ahead. We're gonna talk about this more on the wrestling show, right. but if you want, go ahead. But like you had uh, Roddy Roddy Piper from They Live, John mm-hmm. Cena from F9, and The Rock from uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. And Cena and, and The Rock. Last time I checked, they're still there. Uh, Roddy Piper. Oof. gone that's awesome that is that is pretty great um and that's the one i want that's what i really wanted i think that's what everyone wanted because roddy piper is like if you even ask someone who doesn't watch wrestling they know roddy piper from they live oh yeah oh yeah no he, he is certainly the an icon um and i was watching heels uh comic-con panel i'm i feel like i'm the only one watching comic-con at home from god i'm the only guy from a ghg geeks have game watching comic-con at home everyone's like yeah no i'm going to you know i'm going to barbecue but uh they get the lead lead uh i guess the host was wearing a roddy piper shirt nice so that's pretty cool but uh we'll talk more wrestling uh that yeah. was a tie-in i did pick up mcfarland toys uh white templar Azrael. It looks pretty cool, though the white skin. Yes, yeah, that that one. I was tempted to buy it. I really was because I've seen. Yes. I've held the Ezra, the uh, Azrael in hand, and it's a really yeah. cool figure. It yeah. really is. It was Tim. Yeah. yeah, I meant skin, like you know, like uh, skins on video games. How you, like, you yeah. get the black and the red and the and the white, and then he's got the cool silver kind of lining up with that. And then I'm shocked that you didn't get the unmasked red hood. Uh, I know it, it's been a weird weekend. It's been a weird weekend. I, I was like, uh, do I want like, uh, I just, I just couldn't pull the trigger. I couldn't pull the trigger. I just couldn't. Yeah. And, and as I know, you know, uh, I do collect the one, one Ninja Turtle thing I do collect is Playmates. I'm not going crazy with it. I just got the party box from Comic-Con a couple years ago, like the first Comic-Con at home. Yeah. And uh, then uh, I guess it was last year. And then I ordered the bad guy pack from Entertainment Earth. It's got delayed. Yes. Of course, like everything else. But the party wagon I really want. But I don't even think that thing's been on sale. So Walmart had some of these uh, Playmate figures, the two packs. And from what I know, it shows sold out. But from what I gathered, they haven't even, I don't know, maybe as of the- I don't know what's going on with that. Because yeah. I, I said uh, last time, uh, Canada is getting them like in store already. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what what's in the maple syrup up there. I don't know. If <laughs> about, you know, uh, uh, maple syrup pepperoni pizza. Cow right? bun- like, ooh, look what we got here, eh? We got oh. the new curls. Oh man, your accent, yeah. you're killing it. Uh, I know I am. <laughs> All right, let's uh, swing over uh, to, to your, the weed. Let's swing over weed let's, world let's, to your to your weed world to to All travel right. weed, world. Weed world. Uh, All right, so. Uh, two years ago, last uh, it was a cherished uh, Comic Con exclusive I got from my last Comic Con in person. What was that? 2018, 2019, I guess. 2019, yeah, yeah. So it feels like you know a million years ago, but I got yeah, it this really one. Does. And uh, every year, it's kind of a tradition just to get a drag. It's like I don't even collect Dragon Ball figures, but if I'm in Japan or a Comic Con, I pick them up. And this was from Comic Con at home last year. That's cool. And uh, a cool looking Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. And uh, yeah, so I tried to get none other than Beerus. And it was an hour of, my roommate and I, an hour of F5 refreshing. And it was uh, added to my cart, but the credit card, when I put it in, it wouldn't, uh, it, I That's don't know. That's the worst was, feeling. It, it, you know, the money's good, but it's like it wouldn't, it just went to the corrupt website thing kind of, and then, you know, hitting back and forth. Finally got through 
got one after an hour and they and they they know there's a problem you know this tamashi nations premium bandai sh fig warts they got like twenty six thousand names but they can't get a stable website to save their life so <laughs> you know this is the second year in a row they've done this and they knew it because they're like we're gonna have a makeup day and then they did then they did another day and from what i gather they're doing one tonight so it's just crazy. Hopefully you guys get your hand on it. The beer this looks cool. There was also uh, Napa. We kind of went over what was there yeah. uh, last show. But yeah, I was just happy to get that. And then uh, they kind of more or less uh, tie in Bluefin brands with Storm Collectibles. And, Which uh, killed it. Yeah, last year I was able to get the Mortal Kombat 2 Scorpion with the flame effects, the skull and everything. And then they got a uh, re-release, I think, of the Mortal Kombat 2 Sub-Zero. So there's that. There's Reptile, hopefully, with the alternate heads. Uh, Kentaro was the big one. You could actually pre-order Kentaro. Didn't get it because 135 bucks. Yeah, that's so, and and, that, and we actually talked about this last night, where like you start adding up all the stuff you pre-order, you're like, oh, oh shit, like you you have those oh, oh shit moments, like yeah. like uh, Dave was telling us like he's like oh I I had this bunch on pre-order and I'm like, yeah I'm good I'm I'm good I'm I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, was, I was okay with like 245, but then the next section we we're going to get into was yeah. like, put it way over the Pushes top. Pushes it over. Yeah, just put it over the top. But just to kind of just to kind of go along. So, Jivo is back. Jivo's back, you know, my friends are vaccinated. It's my birthday coming up, so we're going to get together and we're going to uh, actually continue the tournament and one of the in the main event and we always play Tekken, so Tekken 7 Kings there. He's got the Kazichiko Okada new nice. Japan tie in it's my boy he's a wrestler and he's in Tekken, so i gotta get that one i just wish i could have pre-ordered it and then the, the return of dark stalkers morgan i know a lot of people are proud of that yep. uh, marvel versus capcom legend right there for sure yep. and um yeah so our main event jivo is going to be guilty gear strive and their first storm collectibles presented soul bad guy so he's kind of the ryu if you're not familiar with guilty gear gotcha. um so arc system just awesome awesome game and then the gacha man fans are happy i'm not in in that but uh ken the eagles there and he they everyone's like yeah i need that so uh storm collectibles absolutely crushed it but yeah. man would you just quick thoughts on mezco i know we went on it uh last time but we're gonna do a mezco con show fabster kj they got the knowledge they're gonna drop yeah. it the homies but uh quick quick thoughts on that for me i mean mezco always kills it mezco just is they 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 just they're just on their shit. They just know what, know what they're doing. They're on the it. one that I was like, oh, shit about. like, And, and I saw it. I was like, oh, bleep. Uh, that's Spider-Man 2099. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. And once again, and, 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 and you know, Fabster and KJ will cover all this, but the pictures that Mezco releases is like, God, guys, like, I already want the, the product. You don't have to keep enticing me. But shit, why are you doing this to me? Uh, yeah, it's they had everything, man. Every they almost like I'm not a horror dude, but if I was, oh, like yeah. they just took like four grand for me last night. But like, oh, yeah. if the, if I was, so I, you know, I'm kind of skipping that stuff. And then I know their last reveal was Robin, man. That's like, that's they didn't show anything but the Robin like bat signal. So yeah. that was enough to get people to be like, yeah, Mezco won. It's like they showed a bat signal with Met, the R. I won't lie, Met, Met, but Mezco, Met, Mezco knows what they're doing. And that I'll leave it at that. They, yeah, they're yeah. So, yeah. And uh, speaking of, uh, you know, and I'll just go with, I'm a Joe Simp, Firefly, easy guess. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Dick Tracy, we both are intrigued. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Dick Tracy. Shit. Yeah, Flat Top and Dick Tracy, and those were my two, you know, those were kind of like... That, that Dick Tracy, I want. I'll, I'll, I will get that Dick Tracy. I yeah, will get that Dick Tracy. Yeah, so, yeah, it just, they're they're taking a lot of money from us. Yeah. But uh, but for one, of, from one expensive figure <laughs> to another expensive figure. Oh, uh, and, and, and once again, and, and you know what? Uh, these guys, these guys would take my money in a heartbeat. Mafex. Medicom Mafex, yep. Oh, Mafex is Cyborg Superman and 84 Armored Wonder Woman. Uh, that mm -hmm. Cyborg Superman is my figure of Comic Con. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. It's it mm -hmm. is it, it, it's effing awesome. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Hank, 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 Hank Henshaw has never looked this good. Um, yeah, it's it's when I put them both up, it's easy to dismiss 84 Wonder Woman because the movie is is, is like 
people kind of look at that as a Captain Marvel, as a Masters of the Universe revelation. It wasn't even close to that. As a, it was like I like I can watch Captain Marvel again, like a few times. This yeah. movie, I'm one and done. Like I'm out. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like Gal Gadot's tremendous. Um, she looks absolutely stunning. Uh, Eighty four armored Wonder Woman is trim. It's just it's oh, it looks like if the movie was as good as the figure, I right. would own the movie. I know. So man, now you're kind of steering me away, but the, in it because it's an expensive toy. I mean, if you want kind of like the cheaper. <sighs> If you don't want to internationally ship this thing, it's like 130. So, man, but the face sculpt, I have not seen a better Gal Gadot face no, sculpt. No, there's on not. A toy that's not 250, 300. No, because I'll, I'll get a recession right now. Here's the McFarlane 84, you know. Yeah. Gal Gadot, like this is the 84 line. And, and it's not, it's not bad per se but uh dude but i saw this gold armored one at target oh, the gold armor one looks like that. is just uh, sorry, sorry todd sorry uncle todd no uh, the, the 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 armored wonder woman looks bad it's uh well we're talking the mcfarlane one but yeah, yeah the, the Apex one is it's just the best and yeah. um it's almost worth it. Like I'm looking at some of these Mayfex toys and I'm almost, it's almost worth paying all that money just to get the face sculpt. And then if you want to, if we're able to kind of pop it off, put it on another, you know, another figure, you have that tremendous face sculpt. You're going to have to pay for 40, $50 for that face sculpt from a customizer anyway. So at least you're kind of getting all the, if you kind of look at it that way, it might sway you because you're getting all the stuff with it, the accessories, the armored suit, the gold plating. But yeah, the winner is Cyborg Superman. Yeah, It's yeah. just, it's a perfect, it's the perfect, it's the perfect Comic-Con. I mean, it, it not we don't even know if this is a Comic-Con thing, but it, it was the perfect release yeah. this week. It was, it was, it's, it's, I'm looking, I'm looking at it literally right now and it's like, yeah. God, like the color yeah, it, is so crisp. Yeah, and, and we actually can see pictures. So Mezco won Comic Con, but this figure won it on its own because we can actually see how dynamic it is, and we can actually see more than kind of a teaser, uh, professional Photoshop done. So yeah, I'm agreeance, man. It is no total agreeance. There's no, there's no question. Uh, like I mentioned, if Brian Flynn had waited two weeks, and you know, being a Joe guy, if they had released the Super Seven All American Hero Joe, yeah. oh yeah. And then if you're like, all right, you know, you kind of, it's kind of a cheat code. You get all four, and it's kind of like blew my mind. It was an instant pre order, and then, but dude, I was in Target. As soon as I hit the car, Cyborg Superman, right? Add to car, add to that pile of loot. So yep. yeah, I'm right with you, man. Yeah. Um that's that's comic-con that's that's it weird. that was a, that's a weird thing that, that's yeah. comic-con did we uh, record this make yeah we recorded it we thank recorded this in society. <laughs> um yeah uh we have okay so you've got uh you and kj right are doing snake eyes i believe it's us two for now we might have someone else but yeah that's us two doing the snake eyes movie the and movie we will movie. also yeah show off our uh i don't know if he got them but i got some snake eyes movie toys and then nice. you're doing the same thing with he-man or he-man or... with uh K kevin wish and uh yeah. ghg and traveling nerd lance paul Woo! Um, masters of the universe revelation yes masters masters of the unit which for anyone crying about it masters of the universe revelations it's in the title um yeah. now uh the in the masters of the universe revelation and then uh, we also, like we said just a minute ago, we've got the Mezco Con with Fabster and uh, KJ coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you, and then you might be doing uh, wrestling. Yeah, uh, yeah. Plan on doing a wrestling episode. It's in the works because we don't know if we'll get a guest from either Mattel or Ringside Collectibles or not, or gotcha. or we might just have uh, Christian Rob. Just then, if it's just us two, then we can kind of. Do what we want. We can talk a little AEW with the Jazzwares figures because I did order that Sting. Uh, nice. So that from Walmart CollectorCon, we'll go over that. We'll show all the images for that and stuff, uh, kind of on the wrestling show. So yeah, we got a lot of lot lot going on. And if it's you missed week. it, what's up? It's gonna be a big week. Big week. It's and if true. you want to watch, a, if you're a gamer and a big show, I gotta let you know the 40th episode. And Mike, my brother Mike, his 
final episode of the geekdom games cast we've been doing it for three and a half four years yep. uh go check it out it's the best video games of 2021 and all the games cast memories great show me and mikey uh it's a we say goodbye to him so go go check that out but a lot going on geeks have games yeah. on youtube uh, dude, we couldn't do it without you, Robert. Thank you so much. Very welcome. Uh, now, uh, that is the end of this episode. Uh, as always, uh, Travis and I will see you in the toy aisles, hopefully not beating you so that you, we get the last toy. <laughs> Peace.